So do you think in quantum physics, two molecules can see each other before they make contact? See each other? In a way that they say, I want to get a little closer to you. I mean, I always... With I, the music. <laughs> <laughs> I, in my mind, all chemistry is driven around the rearranging of atoms, and that's all driven by electrons, either electron repulsion or attraction. So that's how I think about interactions, is where are the electrons, are they attracted to each other? What would be cool is if two entangled particles mm -hmm. made an entangled molecule. Wouldn't that be oh, weird? Whoa! That, it would be wild. Whoa, so, so that would be weird. Um, of uh, one molecule, one mm -hmm. quantum molecule mm -hmm. with its bits separated. Right. That'd be so weird. That would be weird. But they have to be identical. Mm -hmm. So maybe a, a hydrogen makes a molecule H2. A lot mm -hmm. of oxygen, sure. not nitrogen. Yeah. We breathe O2 and N2. So they're quantum entangled to make one molecule. That's a sci fi story right that there. It is. Wow. That'd be really weird. It's super cool. That is okay. Really cool. All, All right. right. Here we go. This okay. is Alyssa. But you're Kate, the Earth chemist. Yes. So that's not no, a, not a future happen. book coming <laughs> no, out. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Alyssa Feldhaus says okay. this. Hello, Alyssa from Rocket City, Huntsville. Alabama. My daughters Amelia and Olivia just love you. Uh, my question is: What is the biggest, most impressive, kid-friendly experiment I can do with a four and an eight-year-old that will keep them interested in science? For years. 